A brief history of the Bauhaus, 1919 to 1933. Bauhaus was one of the most influential modern-day design movements, reaching its highest point between World War I and World War II. Founded in Weimar, Germany in 1919, the Bauhaus was a revolutionary kind of art school with a utopian vision. The term Bauhaus, loosely translated from German, means building house or the school of building. In the post-war era industrial crisis, the Bauhaus set out for ways to master design modernization. Traditionally, each design subject was taught separately at European art academies. However, the Bauhaus provided core training in numerous fields of art and design. Under its founder and first director, Walter Gropius, after an intense internal debate in 1923, the Bauhaus turned its concentration to industry. In 1924, the Bauhaus funding was cut so dramatically by conservative forces that it had to look for a new home. At a time of improved economic success, the Bauhaus moved to Dessau to become a government-funded school of design. Under constant pressure to fight for survival of the Bauhaus, Walter Gropius resigned as director. He was succeeded by Swiss architect Hans Meyer in 1928. During the political turbulence, however, his Marxist beliefs became problematic for the city council and he was removed from his office in 1930. From 1930, under Ludwig Mies van der Rohe, the Bauhaus evolved into a technical school of architecture with auxiliary art and workshop departments. After the Nazis became the largest elected party in Dessau, the Bauhaus was forced to move in September 1932. Only a short time later, after the final move to Berlin, in 1933, the Bauhaus was dissolved under Nazi pressure. Despite being disbanded by the Nazis, former Bauhaus students and leaders fled Germany only to spread its ideas around the globe. Bauhaus principles were embraced by schools throughout the world. Philosophers from Bauhaus believed that the world had to be rethought. The aim of this organization was to eliminate unnecessary ornamentation within design and divide everything from basic components to the ideal of function over form. With an equal emphasis on fine art and functionality, it is no surprise that many of Bauhaus's most important and lasting achievements were in the areas beyond painting and sculpture. Marcel Breuer, Marianne Brandt, and others' furniture and utensils paved the way to the stylish minimalism in the 1950s and 60s. Architects like Van der Rohe, or Gropius, were recognized as predecessors for their highly refined international style so important in architecture today. Herbert Bayer was the first to develop a radical new typography within the Bauhaus. Their many designs focused on simplicity and effectiveness, making it easy to read through bold, dense lines, simple block colors, and unadorned text. They redesigned the German alphabet in the opposite style of the nationalist typeset Frankter, freeing it from fascist associations. There are many more famous artists on the Bauhaus Masters list, Kandinsky, Clay, Eaton, just to name a few, who encouraged reinterpretation and the rediscovery of simple forms. They even helped to develop a system of color forms that became a trademark of the Bauhaus. Today, influences of the Bauhaus from housewares and graphic design to minimal lines and modern buildings can be seen everywhere. Thoughts, reform, exploration, and vitality were examined in the Bauhaus. It was a revolutionary philosophy about making simple sense of the world to create a better future.